In this episode, we're going to talk about spiders, spider bites, and other insects that can bite you in a home outside of bed bugs. Welcome to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in this episode, we're going to talk about spiders, mosquitoes, ticks, all kinds of insects, and those insects potentially biting you while inside your house. Now, obviously, you're watching Bedbug TV, and so you're curious about bedbugs and bedbug bites, and, and we're actually going to talk about things other than bedbugs in this episode. Because obviously, people email me and say, you know, listen, I'm being bit by something. Could this be a spider? Could this be a mosquito? You know, I can't find, I'm being bitten by something. I can't find bedbugs. What else could it be? And so we're going to talk a, a real quick about a few of the options and, and what you need to watch for. Uh, and let's start with the most common, which is, of course, spider bites. And I know as a kid and, you know, my parents, anytime you'd have a, a bite on your body that you couldn't figure out what it was, everybody automatically blamed spiders. Um, and what you need to understand about spiders is that spiders don't feed on humans. Um, you know, a spider bite for a human, while it absolutely can occur, are actually fairly rare. So, I mean, listen, if you wake up one morning and you've got a bite on your arm, you know, and, and you can't explain it, and it only happens once, it could have been a spider incident. You know, you could have maybe gotten it the day before outside, or maybe you did have one in bed with you, which is not a pleasant, pleasant feeling or pleasant thing to do, but you rolled over that spider in the middle of the night and it did end up biting you. It, it could potentially happen. But if you have bites that happen periodically, meaning like once a week, once every couple days, or even once a night, that is most likely not a spider. Uh, spiders don't work like that. They're not looking to feed on our blood. That's not what spiders do. They feed on other insects. Um, and so spiders are not going to repetitively bite like that. So an isolated incident could be anything that happens regularly is, is, is most likely not spiders. And you need to look other places because that's not what spiders do. Uh, mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are another option in terms of insects that get inside people's houses. But obviously, again, you're dealing with something that should be a one-off type thing. Like you had a mosquito get in overnight, it was flying around the house, it bit you, and then hopefully over time that, that goes away. And so again, if you're seeing repetitive bites, it's unlikely to be mosquitoes unless you have a broken screen in your house or a door isn't sealed properly. And in a very rare instance, people sometimes do have um, water inside the house that is breeding mosquitoes. Uh, once we actually had a bamboo plant inside my house that had water in it and a mosquito had gotten in actually and laid eggs in that bamboo pot and actually was breeding mosquitoes inside my house. Um, obviously it was dumped out and taken care of, but in very rare instances it can happen. And so to keep an eye on it, but you know, you would most likely see the mosquitoes flying around in that instance and, and then you'd have reason to go look for that. And so again, mosquitoes inside homes, unless you have a broken screen, unsealed door, or the rare instance where you have mosquitoes breeding in the house, Again, it's not really the source of repetitive, regular bites in regards to insect bites and humans in the house. Another guy to watch out for are fleas. Fleas, you know, can happen, obviously. Uh, I shouldn't say obviously, but the pest control industry is reporting a, a resurgence, at least at some level, of flea infestations. Uh, some of the flea and tick prevention products, fleas are building up resistance to. And so I just had a, a, you know, a person in my life call me and my family and saying they have a flea issue inside their house. And so it does happen. Now with fleas, obviously, typically there's going to be a pet in the house that has a flea problem. Um, when it comes to fleas, the best thing that you can do, especially if you have pets, is visit your vet and get a prescription for some sort of flea and tick prevention product. Um, those over time will take care of flea infestations typically, where if you put the dog or cat back on those products or make sure they're on those products, the fleas would rather feed on the pets rather than you. And so I've actually, back when I was in graduate school, we had fleas in my house and we actually didn't do any treatment at all. We just put the dog on flea and tick prevention and that actually took care of the problem over a week or two. And so even with fleas, you know, again, it, it, the bites on, on people tend to show up around the ankles and feet. Um, they're very, very typical in regards to how they show up. It's not to say you can't be bitten in other places of your body, but your ankles and feet are the most common thing. So if you're getting bites all over your ankles and feet, you have dogs and cats that you know aren't on tick or flea prevention type products, obviously fleas could very, very likely be the, be the source. Now we do have a video on, on fleas and, and what to do about them, so I'm not going to go any further into it. Just know that bites are on the ankles and feet, uh, dogs and cats not on flea and tick prevention could definitely be fleas. 
Outside of that, there's not a lot of options left. There's really only two that I can think of off the top of my head in regards to insects that can infest homes. One is the brown dog tick. Uh, brown dog tick tends to be more common in the southern states. Um, they're actually ticks that live in the house and uh, are often, again, associated with usually a dog. Um, and so if you have a dog not on flea and tick prevention and you're finding ticks walking around your house, that could be brown dog tick. Uh, but again, those are going to actually engorge in your body. So you're going to find them, you know, stuck on your skin like a tick would typically do. They also don't prefer or don't appear to prefer to feed on humans. I've actually been in a few brown dog tick infestations where there are literally hundreds of ticks inside people's houses and only one or two have been found inside somebody sleeping in the house. They're almost all on the dog. And so again, I'm not going to get into how to control that, but that is one option. But again, you would see the tick typically in your skin. Um, and then the last one is mites. There are a few mites that can irritate and, and, and feed on humans. Uh, bird mites can do it, rat mites can do it, and there's a couple others out there. Um, tend to typically show up more like a rash rather than an individual bite. Either way, if you do have an issue with mites, you determine you have an issue with mites or something to keep an eye on. It's usually because there's either birds or rodents nesting somewhere in the house. And in my experiences, it's more commonly birds. And so you have a bird nest outside the window in a sill. Uh, that bird, let's say, dies. And now those mites that are in that bird nest need to go out and find food. And so sometimes they will work their way into the house and they can cause issues. Now, typically, it's only for a short amount of time because those mites will die. Um, without a bird present over time, but they can bite in the meantime. And so that could last for two to three weeks or more if the bird is still there and causing issues. But again, outside of mites, ticks, mosquitoes, fleas, and the first one I mentioned, I can't, spiders, that was the one. Sorry, spiders, production crew had to remind me what I was talking about. Um, you know, those are really the only options when it comes to insects inside homes. Um, and so just keep in mind, obviously, that's if you, or being bitten by something and you can't find the source of it. If you have any questions, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com and I hope to see everybody soon enough.